Hello everyone, I am going to spend this video trying to persuade you into buying a stationary bicycle for your home. If fitness is something that is important to you, or weight loss, or just being productive and multitasking, a stationary bicycle is worth your investment. Uh, as you can see here, I'm playing on my phone, I'm sending text messages, responding to emails, uh, occasionally I hop on Instagram, I'll even watch YouTube from my phone or even on my computer if I put it on a TV tray. But the point is, you can do so many things while you get in a calorie burn. The cycle for me is not the highest or most efficient way for me to burn calories, but it is one of the easiest ways to burn calories on your joints while you still do something else. When you run, about all you can do if you're running outside is listen to a podcast or listen to some sort of audio, music, whatever you have. But when you're cycling, at least on a stationary bicycle, you can stay stable enough to where you can actually re, uh, respond to emails and text messages and whatnot. When you're running even on a treadmill, uh, you're bouncing around too much to adequately or accurately uh, respond to various you know forms of communication. But on a bicycle, it's very smooth. As you can see, I'm just barely going back and forth uh, and it's a great way to multitask. I enjoy social media a lot so this is where I can catch up on the things I've missed over the day but it's also a way to stay inside if it's raining if it's late there are no excuses you just sit down and start pedaling um, so if you don't have a stationary bicycle yet I highly recommend them uh, you can control your effort in the sense that if you want to do some sort of a hit training where you're going all out for a couple of seconds and then continue at a lower duration or a lower stress level you can uh, or like you see me doing here just stay at that low steady state cardio and just get the time in, get the miles in, burn the calories uh, regardless of your form of cardio what you want to do the cycle can adapt to make that happen so if you're wanting to elevate your heart rate to a very high level you can you know increase the resistance and uh, increase your what is it rpm your your i don't know rotations around the pedal per second whatever that's called uh, if you get your feet going faster of course your heart rate's going to elevate more uh, if you want to maintain that lower it that's another thing is if you stay at a low pedal rate at a low resistance you're not going to get super sweaty and you might not sweat at all and in case of you've got work in the morning or you've got something else you got to do later on, this is a great way to burn some extra calories while you're doing something else, again, multitasking, and you're still getting your cardio in before you have to go run some other errands. Uh, and that's something that I, I know a lot of people hate is getting super sweaty and uh, having to not only get home, stop sweating, then shower, because if you shower while you're still sweating, you're just going to get out and continue to sweat. Uh, with this, keep it at a low uh, intensity level and just get your time in. You know, if you need to burn so many calories, well, at that low intensity, either figure it out on your phone or some of these cycles actually have the built-in, you tell it how much you weigh, uh, your body fat, tell it how uh, tall you are, and it'll do the calculation for you how many calories per hour you're, you're burning. So that's really convenient. Uh, also, with this model that I have, I can actually fold it up and then decrease its footprint so it can really fit in a corner or fit in my closet and really be out of the way. So that's another high convenience factor when it comes to having one of these cycles. So if multitasking is something that you're into or you just you know don't have time to make it to the gym, this is a great way to just get 15 minutes, maybe 30 minutes in. Uh, before you go carry on with the rest of your day and since you can multitask you're actually carrying on with the rest of your day while you're doing this. So earlier I made the comment that this was one of the easiest forms to burn calories on your joints and let me clarify what I'm saying is when you're running I've heard people complain of ankle soreness, knee soreness, back soreness and a lot of that's coming from the repetitive jarring of your heel or your toe hitting pavement or a, or a treadmill pad, whatever those are called, the belt. And uh, eventually, yeah, it's going to cause a pain from just the impact of hitting the ground, you know, whatever you weigh. I'm at this point 200 pounds. 
Uh, now I'm 170, 165 pounds, but that that's a lot of weight landing on one leg, then the other, over and over and over again. Uh, it's cyclic, and so having your body jar through your joints, yeah, it's, it's going to cause pain, probably some wear and tear over time. The bicycle and swimming, but this is about bicycling, bicycling takes a lot of that jarring, if not all of it, off the joint. If you see, there's no major impact zones while I'm pedaling. It's very smooth, it's fluent, and because it is that way, I'm able to spare my body the major wear and tear that, that comes with running. Granted, I love running. I enjoy running more than bicycling, but when you're in a crunch and you uh, don't have a lot of time and you need to be multitasking, bicycling beats running by far uh, because of that, that alone, being able to multitask. Also, if the weather is bad, I don't have a treadmill. So if it's raining, if it's sleeting, if it's dark, if it's cold, you can cycle inside with a hoodie and it's as warm as your house is. So that too is a positive. So just to sum it up, if you want to multitask because you're super busy, if you live in an area where it rains a lot, snows a lot, is always cold, or you just get home late after work and really don't feel like getting out and about in the nightlife while you try to run or burn some calories, this is a great device to add to your lifestyle. Um, they're not that expensive, at least this one wasn't. I think this one was $110, not that bad. And you're able to multitask. Again, this has been a great investment in my health and fitness, and I can't recommend it more. It is something that definitely burns the calories well. Uh, again, not as good as running, but it does burn the calories, and I can catch up on other things that I have to do. And if you like to read, if you're an avid reader, this is a, a form of cardio where you can actually read a book while you're burning some calories. So again, I hope you all go out and buy a <laughs> bicycle, a stationary bicycle, uh, not because it does me any good, but because it's going to do you good. It's going to help you stay healthy. It's going to help your heart. It's going to help your, you know, the cardiovascular system. And you can multitask, and I love multitasking. So hopefully this encourages you to continue down that path of health and fitness. And I hope you enjoyed this little review slash, hey, get after it and be healthy. And I look forward to talking to you in the next vlog.